Hi, welcome to Dao Shows You How. I'm Dao. I'm going to show you how to make a simple dress with embroidery on it. I'll cut my project into three parts. Part one. In this video, we're going to copy a dress pattern from a fashion book and on the paper, and then we're going to drop it on the fabric. And part two, we're going to do the embroidery. Then part three, we're going to make a dress. So let's get started. Here are some fashion books that I got from my mom, but sadly I couldn't find them. Um, for dress pattern, but I found this top here that has the waist and the hip lines, and also it has the double dots that exactly what I want. So I'm going to use it, and we're going to do the front uh, part first. What we're going to do is we're going to find the middle line of the pattern. Here's mine, and then we're going to fold it in half like this. And also, you want to fold your paper in a half too, like this. And then we're gonna uh, light up the edges like this. Okay. Then pin this these two pieces together. Stop them from moving. Okay. And. As you can see here, um, it's not a full dress pattern. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to measure from the waist down to the bottom uh, to get my the length of my dress. So we're going to measure from the edge here, 26 centimeters, and do the same to the bottom, 26 centimeters, and mark it right there. And then you're going to draw a straight line from the hip point down to the bottom okay like this but because I want the end of my dress a little bit narrower so I'm gonna measure from the side here one inch and then draw one more straight line from the hip line to the bottom just like that and next, we're going to uh, copy the pattern to our paper here. And what we're going to do, we're going to slide the carbon paper. Make sure that you fold it in half like this and slide it between the pattern and then the, the paper. But this part is a bit tricky because the top part of my body is medium size and the bottom part of my body is large size. So what am I going to do is I'm going to start um, from here on M down to here on the M line. And from M right here, I'm going to gradually uh, end up to L on L on the waist part, then I'm going to continue on L to the bottom of the dress. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Oops. Now you have to light here. Use my ruler again to make it faster. On M. Okay. And move on. And you might wonder why, why don't I just uh, <coughs> trace the pattern directly on my fabric. The reason is because in the future I might change uh, the pattern, maybe um, I want to make my dress in the form of princess 
dart or something like that. And I don't want to cut this original pattern. So what I'm going to do, I just cut this part and reuse this one. I can reuse it again and again. Okay, here's the tricky part. Here's it's on M and then N on L here. Okay, that's L. Continue on L. And then before you forget, trace the waistline there and trace the uh, hip line there and then uh, because we already uh, draw the line here we don't have to do it again and here don't forget your double darts and here's M so just use your ruler again where's the M a bit curved right there in and then we're gonna end it there so when you sew it it's easier to see okay. Okay, now let's see that we got everything. That's the front piece pattern. Down to here, here's the hip line and then here's the bottom and I left uh, one inch extra for the hem. So we're gonna do the same process to the back piece of the pattern and the sleeves and then we're gonna come back. Okay. Now I have all the parts for my dress and as you can see here for the front piece what I did was I fold the fabric um, as well as the pattern in half and then I light up the edges, pin them together and I leave a minimum one centimeter extra around the edge before you cut the fabric and uh, for now for the back it's a little different because we're gonna put a zipper on it. So what I did, I fold the fabric in half and then I cut along the fold. Um, now we have two pieces of fabric and for at the top, the bottom, you can see it, the bottom and on this side, leave minimum one centimeter extra, but for the side that we cut, leave one inch extra for the zipper. And then for the sleeves, uh, two pieces, leave one inch extra on uh, the bottom for the hem and the rest one, at least one centimeter extra before you cut it. And then we're gonna use the carbon paper and make sure that your carbon paper color uh, stands out from your fabric. Here I have white cotton paper and then I have um, black fabric. So that's sure that will be stand out. And um, what you're gonna do next, we're gonna trace down the seam line. So that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how I do the embroidery on this dress. So be sure you watch out for that video. It'll be up soon. So um, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, or comments be sure that you leave them below and thank you for watching don't forget to click that like button it helps me a lot and this has been Dao shows you how i'm Dao, and i'll see you in the next video bye bye